The other day, I decided to use Workflowy as a project tracking tool for an app my company is building. I started by watching a video from Workflowy itself about how to use Workflowy for project management. That video was super helpful and inspired me to set up the layout I will use to track everything at my company. I will now show you the layout I created and explain how it will help me to run things smoothly at my company. Here is the home node for Moline Harbor. It's visible as a bullet with the title Moline Harbor. There are sub bullets for today, projects, meetings, people, and archive. Let's look inside the today bullet first. There's a node with the title 13. That stands for the 13th of November, which was a Monday. That's the day I first started using Workflowy for my company. Inside of that node, there is nothing. However, we'll do something about that soon. Now let's look at projects and specifically CodeSpark. This node looks significantly different. That's because I have selected board view instead of the standard bullets view. Board view allows me to view groups of nodes in columns. In this case, the columns have the names to do, doing, and done. Under the to do column, I included launch, which is the main aim for this software project. However, it's not the thing that will happen first. Meanwhile, in the doing column, we see a few nodes starting with make design for register page, and that one's for Ben. Lastly, we have the done column, which includes get feedback on landing page. That one is strike through style and grayed out because it has been completed. I also created a node for meetings. As of Monday, we had had one meeting under this new system, so here is its node. Next, there is the people node with myself, Ben, and Ollie. And finally, there is an archive node. Currently, it's empty except for a node for year 2023 and a node for month 11. We'll add to it shortly, though. Let's look at the bigger picture now. We have a node for a meeting from November 13th. I'll look at that now. But the today node with the title 13 is empty. Let's move the meeting node to the 13th so we can conveniently access it through the today node. But wait, now the meeting doesn't appear under meetings. Well, let's move it back. Now, obviously, it won't work to be constantly moving the meeting back and forth between today 13 and meetings. Surely there's a better way. It turns out there is a better way to do this, and it uses a workflowy feature called mirrors. Mirrors are live copies of a node. The node can appear in more than one place, but each of these appearances point to the same information. It's super convenient being able to show one piece of information in multiple places at once. You can have multiple organizational schemes active at once without having to manually sync data between them. Computers are cool. Let's create a mirror of the meeting node and place it under the 13 node. One way to do this, as I learned recently from the Workflowy video, is to shift, click, drag a node onto another node. The first node is the source of the mirror, and the second node will contain the mirror. Let's try that now. I hold Shift. I click down on the bullet for the meeting. And I drag it up and deposit it under the bullet for November 13. There it is. Now let's verify that it's available in both places. Here it is under 13, and here it is under Meetings. So there we go. One more thing to wrap up this video. Let's close the book on the Today node and set up the layout for the next day. I can drag 13 over to the archive under 2023-11. Let's do that now.
Then I'll make a new node 14 to hold the new day. Now my workflowy layout is ready to start the next day. Thank you for watching, and thank you Workflowy for building such a neat product and also posting that video to help me understand how to use it. Happy workflowing.